Hi, it's Taisha McCray. I'm excited to share that I have a new radio show and it is Growing Perspectives with Taisha. I invite you to listen in and join us. We will have guests that will share with us their successful career transition and their growth. We're going to have stories. We will share resources and we're going to have a great time. So once again, listen in to Growing Perspectives with Kaisha, and you can follow me on LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook, Kaisha McGray. Ladies and gentlemen, 2024 is here with us. Good friends, you heard, you heard the open. It is the Kaisha McRae Show. All right, all that's right. But that's not the official name. That's not the official name. That's not the official. But that is who you are. That is who I am, yes. Aisha McRae. I'm a certified career and leadership coach. I'm the founder and CEO of Growing Perspectives. And my show is Growing Perspectives with Kaisha. Growing Perspectives with Kaisha. 2024 is just upon us. You kicked it off in style. You <laughs> had an event, Women in Leadership. It was the winter retreat. Yes. You came with the booklet too. Uh, there we go. Of course, of All righty. There we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Of what we got here. Okay. Tell us about the event. Yes, absolutely. So our women in leadership retreat, winter retreat. This was the third year that my company has hosted this retreat, and it was phenomenal. We had women leaders from across the area, different backgrounds join us. We had a chance to really refresh, connect reflect and focus on 2024. So we had yoga in the morning. We had breathing sessions. We also had a panel that talked about embracing our uniqueness as women leaders, and they talked about wellness. And then the afternoon, I led the group through addressing and identifying some key roadblocks in their careers and as leaders. And the group left with actions on how to address those. Everyone in the room did. And then we wrapped it up with vision boards for 2024. So the women leaders left energized, refreshed. And I forgot to tell you, one of the attendees is an excellent dancer. So she led us with the wobble as we closed out. Now, everybody can do. Now, that's a. I love when I see people do it. Yes. I'm not the guy who has a lot of talent when it comes to dance moves. Okay. Okay. But. You had some people who were good with the wobble? Oh, excellent. And I will mention her. Her name is Diane Shelton, and she is a travel agent. She's phenomenal, and she's an excellent dancer. Multi-talented. Absolutely. All right, so Kaisha, this is the Women in Leadership. I met you some years ago. Yes. And back then, I don't know, it was 2021 in that range, and you were just kicking off the business. Yes. And what did I tell you then? I told you, you need to do this radio thing. Because you'll be great at it, and it works. Yeah. Did it happen right then? No. No, it did not. <laughs> you just told me it when it's time and it's ready. Here you are years later. Yes. The business is a success. Yes. You were on the board for the Chesterfield Chamber. Absolutely. And here you are, once again, doing the Women in Leadership Retreat 2024. Yes. Making dreams come true. Absolutely. Let's talk really quickly about the timing of it. Because when I told when I when I contacted you, I'm like, there's no time like now. Absolutely. But you were like, no, not now. It yeah. isn't the time yet. Yes, for us to partner together in radio. Yes. So it took about a year before I really decided, I think this might be the right time. And I did get good feedback too. Another colleague of mine who's in marketing suggested, you know, we were looking at different options and they mentioned, hmm, you know, radio marketing might be a really good option for you. And believe it or not, they said, you might want to check out Mike King. You like that Mike King guy. Mike but King. now here, you took a dream. Yes. And it was something that became a reality. In short order, we're talking award-winning with the Chesterfield Chamber yes. on the board. Yes. And doing this. So now when you put this retreat on, when you put your events when they're successful already, you yes. know they're going to be. Because you got a history in doing it. Yes. And it is addressing a need and an opportunity for women leaders. So often as women leaders, we're very busy. Yes, you are. We 
need a place that we can connect and support each other. And that's the premise of Women in Leadership, it is a group of women coming together, supporting each other, continuing to grow as leaders. On our breakfasts, we always have a leadership speaker come to us from different walks of life. So Jackie Vaughn was one speaker, Jonna Green was one speaker, Bernadette Spencer was one speaker, and it's just a great place to network, to grow, and we formed a community. So I am excited about 2024. Um, we will continue to have women in leadership breakfasts in this area, the middle, I wanna say, I almost said Delaware, um, in the Virginia area, um, Midlothian, Richmond, and also in the Carolinas, so Charlotte, North Carolina, Florence, South Carolina, Lake City, South Carolina. So giving the shout outs. Giving the shout outs we do here. And then our winter retreats are always here in Richmond. Okay. And now when you pick out the people who you pick out dynamic speakers, people who are experts in their field, people who are dynamic in the things that yeah. they do. And on top of it, so when we talk about the people who come to the retreat, it's a diverse group. There's somebody who a lot of times when people feel that it's just me, there's nobody in my situation. And then they come, and plus, women being caretakers all the time, you like a lot of times you put yourself second. Yeah. So a lot of times people go to these, whether retreats or business meetings, they're just about business. Chop, 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 let's get to the business. But yours is not. You're talking breathing and yoga and learn how to do the wobble. And learn how to do the wobble and learn how to overcome roadblocks and how you want to thrive in the new year. And I love what you said. Our focus, my focus for the retreats is more the whole person. I always like to tell my clients and I like to tell all the attendees, you know, we are people first. Our careers are a part of who we are and the two impact each other. So that's why it's so important to weave in the other parts to support the human side, the personal side. Um, while we work on the leadership portion as well. All right, Kaisha McCray here with us on the mic. Mike, growing pains. No growing pains, Mike. No growing pains. Growing no, perspectives. No. There's growing, no pains. There's no pains. There's growth. There's opportunity. No pain. No pain. And there's community. There is community here. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Kaisha McCray here with us. Uh, always out there doing some amazing things. What's next up for you? So now we kicked off 2024 yes. with the breakfast. Yes, yes. With the retreat, we kicked it off with the retreat. And then next we have our winter social. This will be our first winter social and that's in the evening. And so that's from 6 to 8 p.m. It's Thursday, February 9th. It's going to be held at Annie Roofs off of, it's Midlothian off of Hull Street. And we will have a fantastic speaker, Lizzie Morrow. From Third Marble will be yes. talking to us about the importance of using our voice as women leaders. Great time to network. And she's a, a person who knows about yes. using a voice. Yes, absolutely. She's a dynamic personality, too. She really is. Another one of our friends from the Chesterfield Chamber. Absolutely, absolutely. She's phenomenal. Um, so that's our next event. And then we will have a breakfast, which you've mentioned. Um, that was one of our first events we did was breakfasts in the area so our first breakfast will be in early March. That date is being confirmed, and I'll be able to share that later this month. All righty, Kaisha McCray, one last time, how can people find you? Absolutely. LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and visit www.growingperspectives.com. Not growing pains. No pain. No pain. No pains. We, we don't remember the no pain, no gain. Yeah, I remember that. And that song? I remember that. That's probably before your time. Possibly. Yes, it was. Yes, but yes. I do remember that phrase. Yes, so that is. This is no pain, growth, fostering success, and building vision. Really quickly, yes. let's talk about the, you know, this is a therapy session here. One of my, my King, Kaisa McCray. What's the power of the vision board? Yes, love that question. Um, the power of the vision board is multiple things. But one, one or two things I'd like to highlight is that the vision board is one of the techniques related to visualization. So there's data to support this, that when we visualize where we want to go, um, we're more likely to really focus in on that. It becomes more top of mind as well. And it is more visible. 
and there's data supporting if our metrics, our goals are in front of us, we're more likely to monitor them and follow through on them. So we had, I know, maybe two attendees from Saturday talk about their vision boards from previous retreats that they attended and how effective it was. And I know one person in the room said they checked off, I think they completed everything on their vision board from last year. So it's very powerful. Hey. I have one myself as well. It keeps me accountable and it keeps things visible. And it reminds you of what you said is important because it's so easy to get busy. That vision board is consistent and you can put it somewhere visible and it can be a great reminder for you as you go through the year yeah. and for the future. Hi, Sean Kerry, dropping nuggets of knowledge. As you can see right behind us, here's our banner right there, Growing Perspectives, Perspectives with Kaisha. Absolutely. There you absolutely. go. Women in Leadership Winner Retreat, a smashing and, success. Absolutely. And I cannot leave without saying thank you for being a sponsor yeah, this well, year. Thank you. It's You know, it is a rock with the best. I do. And this thing that we built... It's it's something amazing because people get things from it. It does work. We look out for each other and do all the cool things that are out there. People out there making amazing things happen. Kai says to go. We got to do some recording. All right, Absolutely. folks, take care now. Thank you.